hello everyone how are you doing i need someone to set a timer for me because today is a very busy day for me so I, I i can't do more than 20 minutes um i won't be able to do more than 20 minutes so somebody should set a timer for me somebody say walk don't come if you call it walk if you call it enlightenment if you call it an opportunity for you to learn Anything you like, you call it. That's your business. But I'm here to tell you that this could have been avoided. This could have been avoided. And you might not like me, but you cannot dislike my message. Someone is saying using every day to chase clout. Call it clout. Call it Mary. Call it Lucy. Call it uh brother tom anything you like call it somebody will buy tomorrow from this same thing because you have refused to learn somebody will you see it's it's not about junior pope now it's about the person that we buy that we don't know tomorrow on that same river that same river that same river somebody will buy again tomorrow There are so many angles to this and i'm going to address all of them every single angle there is to this let us first start with nollywood nollywood actors if you tell the if, if a nollywood actor says i will not do this unless you give me this 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 and this They will say the actor is difficult. They will say the actor is a diva. They will say the actor has attitude problem. Let's start. We will, we will touch on everything and everyone. Let's start with Nollywood. Ebuka James, God bless you. Abibuka Jesse. What God cannot do does not exist. Another one is on the table. Somebody say, even though you talk from today till tomorrow, person will go by, go stick by. That's a lie. That is us. Creating excuses for our ineptitude. First things first. The system makes actors who demand their rights. Let me tell you what the right of an actor is. Salary at the end of the movie. You will do movie. They will owe you money. And so many of them reach out to me and tell me, ah, Daddy Fris, I did a movie last month. They are yet to pay me. When an actor knows his worth, they will say he is greedy. They will say he is demanding toxic they will use all sorts of names on the actor someone like me that knows my value and i will tell you to come to my live i will charge you 1.5 million to, for me to consult for you i'll charge you 250k you are angry with me. If all your actors knew their worth and put their foot down, half of the problems in Hollywood will be gone. I will go to a boat. You will be amazed that if not me, they that sin, they will give only me one boat where I, where I stop on reach. I have walked away from good deals because I'm not satisfied with the conditions. that's the first problem the industry you carry people's children people's fathers people's brothers people's mothers people's uncles carry them put inside boats you provided only two life jackets if the boat people did not have life jacket how much is it to rent jacket for your crew that's the first problem 
let us now start dissecting the spirituality of this issue Ghanaian pastor has come out to release prophecy other other blessing says she was paid 3k for a movie role imagine tomorrow they'll say she's doing a low show <laughs> how is she supposed to survive on 3k Meanwhile, all these movies are monetized on social media platforms for thousands of dollars. Let us now start addressing the spirituality of it. Ghanaian prophet woke up and released the music, a cassette or whatever it is they release. They said that there was darkness in uh, Junior Pope's family. That is from his father's side. Everybody say, oh, people are ignoring prophecy. People are ignoring prophecy. What is the prophecy? Listen, anybody that understands statistics, you go, you do the same risky behavior two days in a row. What is the risky behavior? You cross that same water without life jacket two days in a row. You are increasing with each instance the room for accident to happen. You don't need to like me. In fact, everybody here just despise me. But if you miss this message, the next person, if it be your picking, if it be your uncle, if it be anybody way they close to you, because you neglected to listen. Let us talk about the risky behavior. It is nothing spiritual. There is an absolute, I don't say, you know what spiritual is? You get to the place rain starts to blow you you notice that things start happening out of proportion this is negligence recklessness carelessness on behalf of the citizens and the government and the producers and the rescuers this is somebody said where when it is your time to buy nothing can stop it that's the stupidity our parents taught us how is it a 39 year old's time to buy how how is it some of you are testing god you believe you have faith when the devil told christ in matthew chapter 4 he said jump down from the peak of the mountain the angels will catch you what did christ say he said the bible was the scriptures also say do not test the lord your god many of you are going out you are testing God and you are believing it is faith. Someone said, this is not the time. This is the time to talk. So people can be called to order. So the lives of our actors and actresses and citizens can be protected. Oh, we mourn for two weeks and then we come out and talk and we have moved on to another topic. How many people are still talking about the explosion in Ibadan today? Please correct me. Anybody that wants to be angry, you'll be angry today. How many people are still talking about the explosion in Ibadan? We've forgotten about it. We have moved to 10, 20 things. Mobad, if I open the live now to talk about Mobad, there's 1,000 people now because it's, this one is fresh. If I open the mic to talk about Mobad, we will have 100 people watching. Those will be Daddy Freeze loyally say, Daddy Freeze, we love you so much, so just talk so that it will not be like nobody's here, we are here. Hit the metal when it is hot. This could have been prevented 100%. Worry people say, I wear the Christ till they look road. I wear the cry still they look road. Una don't cry so they una no see road again. We are going to talk about everything. Everything. Pastor came out and gave a prophecy. Oh, it is spiritual. Let me tell you how these pastors work. I sit down today, I give prophecy. Mention all the famous people in Hollywood. Just write. They, they have a list. You'll be amazed that these people are telling. They don't, they don't just wake up one day and just throw stone. No. Everything are assignment. They will sit down, they will write all the Hollywood act actors. They will release prophecy for each one of them. None of them will enter. They go save them. They go release another prophecy every few months. They are re releasing and recycling and releasing prophecies 
Then finally, three years later, one prophecy where they don't talk four years ago, we not enter. Go come be like say he enter. They go just jump around, church go fool. And let me tell you how dumb we are. The thing that caused the problem, we will pass it and go to church. This could have been prevented by knowledge of CPR. Nobody has learned CPR. Instead, more people are in church now. Father, please, it is not my portion. It is not my portion. Let me tell you, if you continue living recklessly in a reckless country, you will continue getting the consequences of recklessness. It is, it is sure banker. Try your luck prophecy. Bet Niger idea. Oje Koje. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yesterday night we cried about Junior Pope. We are not going to cry about anybody else. We are going to put pressure on the government, on the industry to regulate to regulate this industry. Now, let us talk about the mindset. Big shout out to my brother, uh, DJ. He said, we should teach CPR in schools. No. CPR should be taught in the home. Your parents, how many of you, if your parents know how to pray, and if your parents taught you how to pray, raise your hand. If your parents taught you how to pray, raise your hand. If your parents taught you how to pray, raise your hand. If your parents taught you how to pray, raise your hand. Whose parents taught them? My mother taught me how to pray. First person to teach me how to pray now, my mama. Raise your hand, raise your hand. All of you raising your hands. How many of your parents taught you how to swim? Keep your hands up. How many of your parents taught, those your parents that taught you how to pray, how many of them taught you how to swim? How many parents, all of you, where they, where they your parents teach you how to pray, all of, I can't they see the hands done, they go down now. If your parents did not teach you how to swim, point downwards. We are, I want to work with you. Miss Tickness says she learned how to swim in school. Because you went to school in Germany where people think. How many people learned how to swim in, in school in Nigeria? Ada Blessing said at her big age she learned CPR last year. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. How many of your parents taught you how to swim? Everybody on the point downwards now. God, we bless all of you for admitting where the problem is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did your parents teach you how to swim? My mom could not swim, but my mom paid for swimming lessons for me. So my own mother taught me how to swim. Taste board's father taught her how to swim. And Tazebot has taught all the children how to. All the children are expert swimmers. Baby Freeze is almost better than me swimming. Baby Freeze. How many of your parents, these same parents that taught you how to pray, taught you how to speak in tongues, taught you how to go to church, how many of them taught you how to swim? How many of your parents taught you CPR? CPR. Hands are going down again. Hands are going down again. Hands are going down again. I put it to you that if Junior Pope knew how to swim 
and the people around him knew how to do CPR, we will not be having this conversation today. I put it to you, all of you, over 2,000 people watching me, only TikTok is 829 people. Facebook, 854. Instagram, 1,007. YouTube, 142 people. Over, what is 2,000? Over 3,000. I put it to you today that if Junior Pope knew how to swim, he will be alive today. A combination of knowing how to swim and the people around new CPR. When I tell you that our parents failed us, it will look like I'm throwing stones at our parents. Whether you like me or not, whether you believe in my gospel or not, you cannot ignore the truth. We haven't even gotten to life jacket yet. Life jacket is an, as in, this is what you call multidimensional systemic failure. It's not a single, it's not, there was no life, if there was no lifeboat, but the person could swim and there were lifeguards, there would still have been. This thing would have been spiritual if everything was in place and then the demise still happened. Then we can now start pointing at spirituality. When everything is set out for failure, everything is set out for failure. They say the person where they drive the boat, they hear earpiece. You know, you hear the testimony. Person where they drive boat, captain of boat, they listen to earpiece. Someone says, it's not our parents, it's the government. The government failed. Your parents too failed. Because your parents taught you what they believed was relevant. And we now know it. Prayers could not save him. The prayer saved him yesterday. Shrine could not save him. The shrine saved him yesterday. What could have saved him is what I'm telling you to teach your children that your parents failed to teach you. You are giving me sentimental answers. Oh no, our parents did not fail. How people's time today? Babe, oh yeah, they are telling me it's four minutes left. Mm -hmm. Your parents focused and sweated the little things pay your tight pray and you know why i'm angry because they brought the spiritual route and let me tell you what let me let me define confirmation bias to you i studied psychology in the university sorry sociology and minored in psychology confirmation bias is a part of what you call cognitive biases let me give you an what is a cognitive bias a cognitive bias is a bias that prevents you from thinking straight long and short of it what is confirmation bias confirmation bias is when you search for interpret and use available information to back up pre-existing beliefs while ignoring facts and realities and truths that contradict those beliefs you believe it is spiritual so your brain is you've not been trained to remove your brain from uh, confirmation bias so when you see it what you believe that's your pre-existing belief is that it is spiritual so when a prophet speaks oh he's telling the truth that is it that's it your brain subconsciously will see reality cpr could have saved him swimming could have saved him life jacket could have saved him a more a better trained boat driver who was less reckless would have saved him. Hospital with ambulance and defibrillator could have saved him. People who knew how to see CPR could have saved him. You will see all those things and ignore them and go to the spiritual part of it because that is what you were raised. If I tell you that your parents failed you, they failed you because they gave you a spiritual baseline instead of a logical baseline. 
They gave you a spiritual baseline. They told you that the spirituality, the spiritual controls the physical, whereas it is the physical that controls the spiritual. His spirit has left the body. Why? Because of physical things. No CPR, no hospital, no ambulance, no defibrillator, no oxygen. Those are physical things. They are not spiritual things. Those physical things are what left to this at what led to the spirituality of his, his spirit leaving his body. Your parents gave you a spiritual baseline to go into a world where Elon Musk is sending a rocket to Mars. You came into a world of logic and reality with a spiritual baseline. You are ignoring the facts. You are ignoring the truths. You are ignoring the reality and holding on to the same thing your ancestors held on to that did not help them. Work with me. Two days in a row, they crossed water without life vest. Two days in a row. What are you expecting to happen? It's like blindfolding yourself and running across the express and expecting not to get hit. Blindfolding yourself. Babe, I'm ready. Blindfolding yourself. Do you know you can actually stand on Lake Expressway and blindfold yourself and run across the road 30 times and not get hit? Do you know you can run and be lucky that no car is coming? You can run and the cars hit themselves to avoid you? You can run and miss the cars narrowly? But then when you take that recklessness and create a spirituality out of it, you arrive at Nigeria. Let me tell you something, eh? I went for a massage in the UK. In one of those um, very expensive hotels. I feel from tire. They asked me, do I react to this cream? Do I react to this? Do I have a family history of any reaction? Do I... Anybody who don't go massage for UK? London massage. Let's talk about this. Anybody who has ever gone through UK massage, you will feel form. They will ask you for all, they will, they will literally sit you down and because they don't want to rub cream on your body and that place starts to swell, then you now lock their shirt. Sugar Destiny said it's the same thing in Canada. Absolutely. You go to a racetrack to race, they will give you helmet. They will check your tires and make sure they are the right uh, pressure. In Nigeria, they just carry people, papa, people, children, people, uh, grandparents, people, makeup artists, carry everybody, throw inside boats, no life jacket, give only two people life jacket, oh yeah, they go. Do you think, can, hello, can this happen in the US? I want to mention four countries, UK, US, Dubai, and Canada, four countries. Can this ever happen in Canada? Someone said 20 minutes up. Give me another 10 minutes. I'll be done in 10. Can this happen in any of these countries? There is no coast guard. No paramedics on site. The boat did not have ordinary first aid. Let us talk about first aid. The boat did not have first aid. We live too much. You see, because we're raised with a baseline of spirituality, 
Everything must conform to that spirituality. Somebody said, Daddy Freeze, if you don't believe in prophecy, allow us that believe in prophecy to believe. Oh, I believe in prophecy more than you, but I can tell the difference between stupidity and prophecy. What most of your pastors turn out as prophecy is the fact that they know that you don't have sense, so they give it to you as prophecy and spirituality because they know you will not think rationally. Someone said, what about Jack in the Titanic? The Titanic happened decades ago. Between then and now, they've improved things. You're talking about Jack in the in Titanic. Are we in the era of Titanic? Do you know there were no aeroplanes during the time of Titanic? Let us now talk about first response or first responders at the scene. That one last night, I actually cried. You bring somebody out of a drowning situation. Instead of you to perform CPR, they sat him up and they were fanning him. Confused people. They don't know what to do. All those people that are there, they all know how to pray. You. They all know how to pray. You'd be amazed that everybody around him that was a Christian, we either know how to pray and speak in tongues, was a Muslim, knows how to pray five times a day, they knows what to recite if it's time for prayer. But ordinary CPR that you can learn in 30 minutes, it takes about 30 minutes to learn basic CPR. You will learn it in 30 minutes. None of them knew this. Once again, they were thinking spirituality. Ah, in don't buy, in don't buy. Do you know how easy it is? I taught you yesterday, check your pulse. All of you listening to me, I'll tell you again today. Check your pulse. No, the only way you can tell that somebody, for a novice, that is you are not a doctor, you are not a nurse, you are just a regular Joe off the street. The easiest way to tell that somebody has spied is by checking the pulse and checking if the pupils dilate in reaction to light. All of them there, the phone they were using to record the say person don't cry. If they had used the touch light of the phone to check his pupils, they would have seen that he never cry. Before you give CPR self, have you tested to see the person still alive? You watch movie. They just say, they just, somebody's down. The, the, the person, they just they check the hand. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Oh, yeah, boo, 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 boo. Person, when you don't know whether he don't cry, you don't know whether they're alive, you sit hand down, you begin the fan arm. Then, the, a, may we not be surrounded by a bunch of ignorant people when we have an emergency situation in our lives? Everybody comes surround them and they decided that let them take him to mortuary. They say it is now mortuary attendant that said he was alive. They now took him to the hospital. A human being has five minutes after a drowning incident to regain consciousness or they will suffer permanent brain damage. If after that five minutes, they had brought him back to life, till, till he dies, he will have brain damage. Five minutes is what we all have. Any decision taken within those first five minutes are what will make this man live. Or by MJ City said his brain cells were dying by the minute. You have five minutes. That is why I'm doing this live. Not because I'm chasing cloud. To let you realize that you, I, mysticness, Samaria, Ada Blessing, all have five minutes. If there's an emergency and somebody faints or somebody drowns, you have five minutes. Someone said it's actually six minutes. Okay, thank you. Six minutes. 
the decision you take within these six minutes are what you call the life and death decisions. So the first six minutes is when you, you need to do CPR, get him to start breathing. Then rush him. This is the, this is the sequence. What should have happened? This is what will have happened in America. This is what will have happened in Canada, in the UK. I was driving once, saying an M1 that they call that road for UK. They stop traffic, helicopter land, carry person. Helicopter land for main road like this. If you're in the UK, America, you don't see I'm tired. I stayed in a hotel in Spain. There, the, the, was next to a hospital. Every one hour, you'll be seeing helicopter landing in the hospital, bringing emergency cases, bringing supplies. So, first stage, first responders, they brought him out of the water. Check pulse, check pupils. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. Then and there, they don't need to get to mortuary to realize that he's still alive. Then and there, he's still alive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull off his shirt. Set him back. Compressions. One. 30. B, B, B. Two breaths. 30. B, B, B. Two breaths. He coughs. <coughs> Comes back to life. Brr. Ambulance is now on the standby with paramedics. That is the step-by-step -step situation in a civilized country. While they're depressing chest, sometimes you go depressing chest, ambulance don't come, wee, 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 wee. nurse don't jump out, paramedic don't jump out, they, they run go there with paddles, defibrillator paddles, wee, 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 wee. plug on to in chest, Gzzzm. charge it again, Gzzzm. Gzzzm. Grr. as you get by. By the in, in five minutes, he's already at the back of the ambulance. They're already giving him drip. Whoa, 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 rushing him to the hospital. Thomas said, Our government failed us. Our government was part of the pay. Can we also include our parents? Because if the parents of those people there taught them CPR, the story would have been different. It's not the government's responsibility to teach you what is important in your life. It is your responsibility to know. They should have called emergency immediately. Which emergency do you have in Nigeria? People that carried him on, the, on their head on the road and were strolling to mortuary. If there was ambulance, would they not have called ambulance? Someone said, no compare Nigeria with the US or others is not fair. Okay, so let's not compare. Let's remove the paramedics. Let's remove the defibrillators. Let's remove the ambulance. And let's talk about our hospitals. They say one of the hospitals no get oxygen. Talk to me. One of the hospitals no get oxygen. Someone said, can we also include ourselves? Absolutely, we can include ourselves. But you owe your children to teach them CPR. You owe your children, all of you listening to me, go and start teaching your children how to swim. Not with Kura Life Coach. We go, go drown your Peking Komo. Teach your children how to swim. Some of you are failing yourselves. The morning time you used to pray one hour every morning. Join prayer meeting and be typing amen. Go and use it to learn something that will actually benefit your life. So, after somebody will get, somebody will get a uh, waiting at the column, will drown, finish. They come out from inside water. Sit them down, begin wave them, fan. Like Daddy Freeze, they wave when they come for social media. They begin to fan them like this. Then from there, they carry and go mortuary. Mortuary people say, ah, this guy never buy you. Yay, he never buy. They carry and go shrine. Tell me how, when I tell you that the problem is your parents' problem, not the government, the baseline for your thinking, 
the baseline for your thinking is spiritual. So even if it is not church, say, okay, you don't believe in church, not shrine or mosque. They carry person. We're not supposed to be mortuary. From that moment, they're supposed to rush and go hospital. They first carry and go mortuary. We saw the video. They were literally strolling on the streets. May your faith and the faith of your children may they not depend in the hands of... Be, be, I, can, I can't even speak the English again. My head don't scatter since yesterday at the Vex. This is the first thing I woke up to this morning. I was angry. You know why I was angry? Because this is avoidable. They say in our prophecy, say in my father's side. Okay, the other people where they the boat with them. They, are, they not get papa, their papa not get side. Then our elders in Hollywood, they say that the freeze is chasing clouds. By teaching you the important things of how to survive. Our elders went to take picture of him body after he don't pie with cutting wool for a nose. They come play music for the background. There's nothing God never fails. God never fails. If not that one where they want you to take do God report card. Is that not a failure? I am not saying God failed. I am saying human beings failed. And you are now playing music in the background to link it with God. What does God have to do with you not having sense? Then in our type, what God cannot do does not exist. <laughs> Person where they give you alive. You could not maintain the life. You want to tell me that God will resurrect the person. You had life. It might have been a faint pulse. It might have been a slight link with life you left all that the next thing they will start to quote scripture the next thing they will start to play uh, gospel music sung by, by gospel artists that are some of the some of these gospel artists eh, they bench past you and i some of them they on top they they they, they where they do, do three S O M E, where the where the why I why I why I now inspiration comes. Say ah, I write the song like this. They'll go write the song. Say oh Father, you are some like go that they smoke. Oh you are the Lord. They go sing the song. Finish. Give you pa. I don't know who it is that I'm speaking to this morning, but it will not be your portion. And by it not being your portion, it does. You can pray from now till tomorrow. Somebody said, eh, if person go by, person go stick by. God knows what when is somebody's time. This one no got anything to do with God and time. This one na negligence. Comp as in, if na say government no provide ambulance, but the people do CPR, they don't res resuscitate them, but there was now no ambulance, then we can blame government. Let's say the people did everything they were supposed to do. And then the government was not okay. She na government be the uh, producer of the movie. We carry these people, not give them life jackets inside boats. It was not his time. It was not his time. This was not the time God appointed for him. This was the time man decided to fail man. This was not his time, people. Somebody say, why are we focusing on Junior Pope? What about the others wake by? May you not buy near somebody who is famous. Because Nigerians, we are fame crazy. We will cry for our celebrities and ignore every other person. Makeup artist. Because makeup artists now nobody, nobody know him, nobody know him, nobody know him, papa, nobody know him. 
Make up artists still they water, nobody they cry. The one way they don't come out for water, nine people they cry. Someone said, Oh, guy, you talk too much. You said you are going to use 20 minutes. This is 35 minutes. Oh, so you are still here timing. You are enjoying the talk. Go now. But thank you for reminding me. Indeed, I did say I was not going to spend more than 20 minutes. So here's my sign off. May the soul of the dearly departed rest in peace. But this could have been avoided. And when something can be avoided, it means another tragedy is looming. We cannot navigate the foolishness we created and get to the end of the road and thank God for being able to navigate our own foolishness. It's like blindfolding yourself and running across the express and then no car jam, you now reach the other end and say, thank God. You don't need to thank God. All you need to remove do is remove the blindfold and we stroll past. All you need to do is wait for traffic light to hold the traffic at that side. Once they hold down the road, go up and you feel even play football for like two minutes before you cross. Then you reach the other side, you wait again, then you cross. What we do in Nigeria is we blindfold ourselves. We play Russian roulette with our lives and then we thank God that when we pulled the trigger, the bullet was not loaded. Ah, okay, oh, God has done it for me. Should you be playing Russian roulette with a loaded gun? Should you blindfold yourself and run across an expressway? And then you get to the end and nothing jam. You say, thank God. The next person with the wrong call, how you sure say moto no go jam on? Another tragedy looming to happen. I'll tell you a story when I was in Ibadan. We read about the Jesse or Jesse. I don't know now. That worries that uh, middle belt side. There was a pipeline explosion. There was a pipeline explosion at Jesse or Jesse. J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. So that's the spelling. Like 3,000 people buy. Just Google it, you'll see it. Why? Petrol, the uh, petrol pipeline boss, petrol, they come up. People jump inside, go, they fetch the petrol. They fetch her, oh, yes, it is the government's fault. The pipeline should not have bust. The people should be. Where they fetch her? Where they fetch her? You don't know whether that person they smoke cigar or, or person on lighter or person carry kerosene stove or something. Shall happen, shall ignite the people. The explosion was so the people were there inside, they not see them. They 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 they, they fire, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, they turn to dust. Someone said, I know I was in worry. JC. Okay, now JC. Thank you very much. JC. People turn to ash. After that. Sorry, sorry if I'm cutting out. Sorry, I'm ending. Can you hear me now? One week later, petrol tanker fall for Ibadan. One week later, petrol tanker fall for Ibadan. People still go fetch the petrol. One our one week later, people still go fetch that same petrol. I end here. God bless you. I'm sorry. May the souls of the dearly departed rest in peace. Amen. Take care, everyone. God bless you.